Question number 11, Porto Williams. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister for Social Order. 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 Porto Williams, question number 11. To the Minister for Social Housing. Why are Christchurch's social housing organisations facing increased homelessness four years after the last major earthquake? Outrageous. Mr Speaker. Honourable Paula Bennett. Well, Mr Speaker, in reality, the number of people in insecure accommodation in Christchurch has actually fallen in the last 12 months. But, of course, housing remains an issue. What we are finding still is that demand for rentals from rebuild workers and people seeking temporary accommodation while their homes were fixed had forced some of the most vulnerable down the accommodation list, as in yesterday's report in the paper, and we certainly acknowledge that. That's why we have contracted two community organisations to provide short-term housing housing for those in need. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Porto Williams. Is it acceptable to her as Minister that four years after the earthquakes, social agencies say young people are living in sheds, families in cars and pregnant women are couch surfing because they have nowhere to go? Speaker. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, reasons for homelessness are complex in many cases and others, are, and they're not always just about um, the house itself, and it's about other issues. And homelessness has been an issue for decades, quite frankly. What we have seen in the repair is that Housing New Zealand are three quarters of the way done in their work and in fact well ahead of track of where they had to be. Repairing 5,000 earthquake damaged properties, um, 3,500 have been repaired so far. What we've also got is 159 new homes being built, another 424. What we also see is the number of builds and the number of houses now is above the number that it was previous to the earthquakes. So some of that complex work is being done with those that are homeless and we're very committed to it. Entry. Supplementary question, Porto Williams. Why hasn't she provided more emergency housing in Canterbury, given that the latest figures order. from the Council show... Order. 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 I'm having trouble with them. Member, please start the question again. I'm having trouble hearing it. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Why hasn't she provided more emergency housing in Canterbury, given that the latest figures from the Council show about 100 more people are on the social housing waiting list than last year, and Christchurch's newest short-term emergency housing for families is at 100 per cent capacity after only two weeks? Mr. Speaker. Well, Mr Speaker, the Council has a role to do actually in repairing the homes that they have and that would obviously bring down the, um, the list that we have. But we're not ignoring it. We've put more places in for those that need short-term help and have just recently made some announcements and seen people being housed that needed to be. I don't care what everyone's saying. Supplementary question, Porto Williams. Will the Minister commit to increasing the level of emergency housing should her latest measures prove inadequate? Honourable Paula Bennett. Certainly. Supplementary question, Madam Fox. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, to the Minister, can you explain what efforts the Government is taking to decrease um, unbeforeseen levels of homelessness in the regions? Honourable uh, Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, we see that there are people throughout New Zealand that are actually struggling with some um, housings. What we have announced in the last um, round also was an increase in housing for youth um, and young people and youth services. So what we're looking at is more supported team flatting, that being a more regional, localised solution where we can actually see particularly some of those young people that have come out of child, youth and family be in supported environments and we've committed more money to that. Oh, that's very positive. Question number 12, Mahesh Bindra. 